guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 4 of season 2 of Goblin Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, okay, that was weird. Ah, yes, blood. Mm -mm. It's time for action. Y'all ain't hurrying for me. Unfortunately. He better not be stupid and go after him. That's the dumb thing to do. Be smart. Stay with everybody else. Just because someone is experienced than you doesn't mean you always need to go after someone. No. Stay in lane. I mean, damn, daddy, like, <laughs> not in the first, like, three minutes, but okay. And that would be for the best.
would be drinking at a time like that. Which is... Uh. I mean, but either way, it's dangerous for them. Oh. Yeah, and you know, since she does want to raise her rank up, that would be the best thing. I mean, but this is a big behind group. Somebody dying. Come on now. And, and I hate to say that, especially with kids. Oh! I hate the fact that I was just right. But it was a big behind group. It was a big group. It was obvious. Well, I mean, because Priestess has to do things on her own. Remember, you guys are all very high-ranked characters and such. She's still low, and she wants to, you know, be independent. Still within the group. So, I mean, you have to let her do things.
I don't know why, but he kind of gives me feels to Homeboy from Berserk, even though your girl has only seen one, one episode of Berserk. <laughs> Do not judge me. Y'all ain't gonna make it, especially the ones who are in the- Oh! Why he take the helmet off? Oh. I mean, but the goblins, what you think they gonna do? God dang, that's a lot of bodies. I mean, you know, for goblins, but still. And both of them are getting tired. Hmm? No, just trust him. You would immediately think that, like, eardrums would have been busted. <laughs> Honestly, your sister will be proud.
Well, that worked. Oh, okay. You're gonna drown them. Makes sense. Ooh. <laughs> right when you were little so do we go up and rank There you go. It's okay. You can't win every battle. Oh, honey, I, I really wish you would just forget this and just move on. I get it. You're still traumatized about losing your sister, but you need to move on. That's okay. <laughs> A problem with the fact that she's a girl? Damn. The same. The same. I can't. It's a pretty love. I can't. I love him so much. Please don't die. Be careful. You sound happy.
I got a good feeling about those two. We just hope they both come back alive. Okay, so it to me, I, I get it. He still wants to have revenge on his sister and stuff, but it's something tells me this is not going to be the last time we're going to specifically see him. So I can say maybe we might go like a good two, three weeks without seeing or hearing from him and such, or we might get like a quote unquote update on him and her as a team, which would be good. I'm not mad about the fact is, or if they really truly wanted to do, they could do like currently season three of Shield Hero and have an episode that is kind of semi focusing all about them and we get their POV, but who really knows? This was an interesting episode. I I'm glad that everybody was able to hold their own, including Priestess, because she ranked up. So congratulations for her. But that's like the, the really good thing. Baby freaking held her own, took that leadership by the hands and just went with it. Like, I mean, and it's scary, truly, because you're in a life or death situation no matter what. But she was able to handle it, even though she's been with like, she's been with Goblin Slayer for at least what, a year or two and such. And she's learned so much from him that she can take, even if she wanted to go off on her own adventure, be in a different team, but she still enjoys like to be with him. I, I, and I am mad about that. I would too. Cause duh. I, I mean, cause I have my own reasons, but you know, I, we not talking about me. <laughs> we are definitely not talking about me. But yeah, this was really like sweet. One thing I am going to say, especially with the fact is that we are four weeks into this show, um, and ish. I think we already talked about number one, this is by a different studio rather than the one from season one. Um, I've noticed from these four episodes, especially when they have, of course, the viewer discretion is advised on every single episode and such. Um, it gives me feels so like, especially when I'm watching season two now, um, of how I was when I was watching Akadama Drive for the first time and such. Um, how I am someone who loves, of course, as we said, I'm a girl who loves gore. I'm a, I'm a horror freak and such. And I love me some gore no matter what. It could just be like a goblin getting killed or someone just getting killed. There are times in these last few episodes where the gore has been iffy. Um... Or, like, what I like to say, not at my standards. I still enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like there is a lot of things that are getting very much censored. I don't know if it's just me. Um, that's something that I could literally go on Twitter or just, like, any YouTube, like, search-ish. And to see, because I'm like, especially, like, okay, I, I get it. They want to cover the eyes of the character who's dead. Th that's fine. That's not really a nitpick. But it's more of, like I said, the gore factor. Like, I, I mean, they go really in detail when it is a goblin. But, and, and I love that. And, and I don't want to see, like, too many details on, like, a freaking anime character. Because then I'm going to cry. And I don't want to cry <laughs> during my gore-esque moments. Like I, I, like I said, you know, if you see, like, any type of horror movie that is very particular gory. I could use Saul series for an example. Maybe Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday Night, uh, Friday Night. <laughs> Friday the 13th, maybe Final Destination. They're very good on their glorious factor and such. And so maybe like to this week's episode, which is a fluke, I'm not sure. You know, going into episode five next week, it could be a lot better. So I'm secretly hoping that. I mean, because you know, hey, you still give me my feels and I love it. I do love the fact that those two also had a moment today because like, uh, it just, even though we got something kind of between last week's episode and episode two, but still, anytime when they get to have a moment, freaking adorable. But yes, once again, congratulations to Freezes for finally ranking up, and I'm just happy for her at the end of the day, regardless. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of Goblin Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.